Hello and welcome back on my channel. Last episode, we closed the hull. Uh, I've treated it with uh, filler. This has now dried and I think the hull is ready to be um, treated with uh, putty. So I will smoothen the hull shape, close all the caps, and then I'm in for a lot of sanding, I guess. I've started sanding the hull, but if I want to sand down this whole thing, I will need to get it out of this support structure. And that's what we're gonna do right now. Well, it starts to look like something. Now that we freed the model from the support structure and turned it the right way, we can get a feel for the final shape of the boat. What's not so nice, uh, however, are these little pins. Um, these are here to support the side panels. Um, I think they're called bulwark. And uh, at the moment they're quite fragile, which makes it difficult for sanding uh, the model. I will finish the hull after I've glued everything in place. But if I want to install these bulwarks, I need to glue in the deck first. And before I glue in the deck, I want to make sure that inside the model, everything is safe, meaning uh, rigid and waterproof. And to that end, I will now treat the inside with some epoxy. I gave the epoxy a couple of days to cure and I'm absolutely thrilled with the result. It's the first time I've been working with uh, epoxy and I'm very, very pleased with how things have turned out. I think this will be my new standard procedure to seal hulls. Before I glue the deck in and close this whole area, I'd like to install the prop shaft and the engine. And to do that, I need to install the engine mounting. I've test fitted the motor shaft and I've prepared my motor. 
please note that the motor is not included in the kit, so you are free to choose whatever motor you want. And that also means that there is no coupling coming with the kit because it depends on your motor choice. And of course, I forgot to order my coupling, um, which means this is it for today's episode. I will see you guys next time. I hope you had fun watching it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and of course, subscribe to the channel. I say thank you for sticking around and see you next time.